Hey, attention crypto gossipators, things are about to get interesting. Remember, not financial advice. Hey guys, what is up? Hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone's having an amazing day because I am as usual. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So guys, as most of you know, um, right now the crypto market is in a lot of turbulence, okay? So it's very, very shaky. There's a lot going on, especially with Binance. So probably some of you want to know what I think of this. You know, how is this going to go forward with uh, our holdings, with, with Bone, Shiba Inu, Leash, you know, the SHIB ecosystem? Is this going to have any effect on us? Um, and I mean, what should we be doing? Now, guys, I'm going to keep a simple but also i will try to talk about it you know so you can understand now the crypto market has al always been turbulent okay ever since you know cryptos came out there have been a lot of uh people that have been skeptical people don't understand how cryptos work people don't un don't get it and it's fine it's gonna take time for them to learn but cryptos are not gonna be evaporated they're not gonna leave us they're not gonna disappear they're always going to be around, but since they're quite new, you know, a lot of regulations are going to come out. Uh, obviously, it's going to be monitored uh, more and more, okay, as the governments try to pursue it, as they try to investigate, they will find out certain things. And what happened with Binance, you know, the, the CEO? So from, from what I understand, you know, uh, Binance didn't do enough to protect against all the money laundering and uh, a lot of transactions we're going through with... Um, you know, quite serious uh, organizations, we could say some terrorist organizations, whatever, okay? So there wasn't enough uh, done to actually uh, vet, uh, to do the due diligence, to, to see where this money is, is going and how is it moving around. And obviously they wanted to have their, um, you know, their their position, they wanted to, to make profit, they wanted uh, to make it as easy as possible. To use the platform so they didn't comply with a lot of regulations and they didn't look at all the the, the sanctions and all that and they just went on um and it has happened before i mean right now there's going to be a big crackdown on a lot of exchanges for sure but you know uh, are they going to disappear are they going to be gone absolutely not impossible i mean guys there is billions and billions okay within this this is a massive industry and uh, for it to just be destroyed would be would be impossible. It's going to create so much so many problems um, and it's going to hit the economy hard. I think the cryptos are, are here. They're here to stay. The only thing they can do is actually regulate it more. Simple as that. OK, there's there's not much uh, more. But you guys also have to understand that this could give us an opportunity to uh, load up. And I know some of you are tired of hearing this. Um, loading up and stuff but we are just going through really bad times you know bearish market turbulence but the bull market is coming this is how the world operates peaks and dips peaks and dips simple as that so what we could potentially see is bone going actually uh even lower so if more things um you know are found out uh this could you know really um rocket the whole um crypto market and we could see Bitcoin uh, dropping and others, you know, for, for a short period of time, of course, okay, because there's always going to be reversal because it's all, you know, a shock to the bad news and then there's going to be good news coming out in the future and it's all going to go up. So it depends how you, um, how you see it. But I can tell you right now that we are in a very interesting time, okay, and we need to pay attention to everything that is happening, everything. Uh, don't close your eyes on the fact that Right now, uh, you know, bone could be uh, going down. And if you have the cash, uh, if you have the money, then you could see it as an opportunity. Because a lot of whales are going to go in. They're waiting for some more news to come out, for this thing to drop to 0 0.5, 0 0.4. And they're going to snatch up everything. If it does, again, I don't know 100%, but it looks like it could potentially, um, you know, happen. A lot of these, you know, weak-minded individuals and those that are not patient, those that don't see the the overall, um, you know, situation here, obviously they're going to run away. Obviously they're going to freak out. They're going to surrender. And the, the strong players are going to come in and load up on everything. 
So we could see a, a drop in price. Is this the end of it? If you know the biggest exchange is getting such big fines, you know, the CEO stepping down, all that stuff. Guys, it's all a matter of time. It'll all be fixed. Okay, it, it happens. I mean, guys, you know, we, we have a, a crash in 2008, then things get better. Uh, we had, you know, the, the big depression uh, in the US, uh, things are recovered after. There's always recoveries coming. Um, and this is going to be in the news. This is going to be talked about. Uh, cryptos could be affected. Uh, some people could freak out and take out their money. But hey, they take out their money, others will pour in more money. It's always worked like this. Um, and it's all just, you know, a moment of um, negativity, of maybe sadness, but it will, it will correct itself. You know, mark my words, I think 2024 is going to be a very interesting year uh, with a lot for, for example, for Bone because you know we're expecting the big exchanges you know to to start listing bone um and then on top of it we're going to have some big projects because they will want to operate with shibarium so they're going to be loading up uh, on uh, on bone then you're going to have the bull run so everything's going to be going up so maybe all this bad news all this <clears throat> crap that is surrounding you know um the cryptos right now it's just an opportunity to load up Rich people, they, they love, that. I mean, they absolutely dream of a crisis, of a depression, of, of you know, shocks in the market. Because they, they know how the markets work. They know right now you get it low, then you, uh, you know, you hold it and you sell it high. Simple as that. That's how they make their money. And therefore, they are there praying for it to go down. Whereas others, you know, they're so concerned about the candles, the, the, little, <clears throat> the little things that it's hard for them to go forward. But you guys can see it for yourselves. I mean, guys, look, peaks, dips, peaks, dips, okay? Dips. If you look at this, there was a peak as well. Unfortunately, you can't open a two-year uh, two chart, but you can see the max chart. I know it dwarfs. I know the line becomes very small because of this massive line, but still, guys, peaked, okay? Then it was down, then it peaked again, then it went down, then it peaked, went down, peaked, went down, and it's just, it, it, it goes in waves. But I think, you know, there will be a big breakout because we definitely deserve this. You know, we've been very patient. We've been waiting for it. So let us know down below how you guys feel. Um, you know, what, what is this whole Binance situation? How is it going to affect you? Are you worried about it? Because <laughs> I'm getting, you know, comments. Some people are saying, oh, this is an absolute joke. That's it. Binance is down. It's over for us. But really, like in my, my personal view, no way am I even, you know, selling not even one bone. No chance, guys. I'm sorry, but... Uh, this thing has so much potential. It's so undervalued uh, and we've seen this before and it's gone up and we've seen fudders They've always been around so I'm, I'm ignoring this. Okay, let me know down below how you guys feel uh, Comment talk like subscribe all that great stuff turn that notifications bell on and as usual guys a big thank you to everyone I appreciate all the support and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out